Hey guys, Jake Abdenor, 252 Marathoner, Kinesiologist, and today we're going to discuss three telltale signs you should take your day off from running. Also, I'm wearing one of those Nike Dry Fit athletic -y t t-shirts, and I'm standing next to a Prefontaine poster. Therefore, I must be legit. Reason number one, your first reaction when you see your running shoes sitting by the door is a combination of something like horror and revulsion and depression, all mixed. So in this case, you might wanna give yourself a mental break from training. We wanna take care of our body as well as our mind. I know it can be kinda of hard to like mentally accept like not having a workout or moving it or not taking a run. One thing I always like to think about is we get faster when we sleep, not when we're running. When we're sleeping, our bodies are actually repairing themselves like the muscle tissues and stuff. And when we're running, we're actually breaking down the muscle tissue. So that's one thing I like to think of. Reason number two, you definitely think that you maybe might have an injury. Stuff like shin splints or like some weird part of your knee feels sore or some random tiny muscle that seems to have no huge apparent function. What in the, what is this muscle? What is its function? And why does it feel like my foot is gonna fall off? Things like this, pains like this are great indicators that your body's telling you you need to take a step back. Take the day off and not run. Maybe cross train if you wanna like keep active. Something to keep in mind, when we run, it's two to three times our body weight impacted on one leg every stride. So just kind of keep that in mind. In training, we train through discomfort, but not through pain. Our third and final sign is dead legs. The, oh man, my freaking, my leg's gone today. This is usually a great indicator that we're over training, that our training load, our training volume is just too much at this point in time, and our body's telling us to take a step back. So if you have a workout, maybe bump it to another day. If you have an easy run plan and you still have dead legs, maybe just take the day off. I could, I could still probably get like three or four. Trust me, there's nothing worse than having a, an awesome workout plan and then having your splits be like total crap because your legs just were not recovered. Fun fact, have you ever wondered exactly what it means when people say recovered? Well, so during a taper period or a recovery period, like those rest days will actually cause the type two muscle fibers, your explosive, your fast twitch muscle fibers to get bigger inside. Also, the chemicals inside the muscle tissue that make it aerobic will actually increase in volume as well. So guys, if you push the injury, fatigue, or overtraining, the run could go totally well and there could be no problems at all. Or it could go terribly. That workout won't physically feel fun and it will also kill your confidence. The results or the times from that session or that workout might be a few notches below your true performance, but it'll feel like 110%. And that's like the worst. Because when we're approaching our training, yes, there's definitely physical changes that we want, but there's also mental changes and strength that we're trying to cultivate. And then mentally, we wanna finish our workouts feeling strong and positive so that when we go into to a race, we feel confident in our abilities. When you toe the line in a race, you don't want any doubt up in here. Physically taking one day off or one week off or even one month off in the scheme of years and decades of training is nothing. It's minuscule. It's about the culmination of training over years, not one week or a month or a day or whatever. So the key takeaway from this video is set yourself up for success. Take a rest day if you need it. All right, guys, leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video. Also, there's a very sexy Patreon page linked below if you'd like to donate to me directly. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.